Ladies and gentlemen, Javius and I gave up on the Emur. There's a Khan Marshal, and there's a, unfortunately, the Zix 600 is available on that map, but it's just such a nightmare that we're staying away from that for a while until we have better Russian trucks that are better equipped for what we're going to do. Follow me, Javius. Going to need fuel quick. Yeah, we're going to, we need to beeline forward. to the nearest gas station. Shut your engine off for now. And let's try to figure out where exactly that is. Uh, stop engine. Where is the fuel in the Don? We don't know. It's basically, wow, we have nothing. Is it a yeah, really small map? You have to put the uh, you have to put the gas station back together. Oh God! So, um, if I were to, it's buy it's, that. it's actually kind of a small map. It's just it's a very technical map. Like, so if we have no fuel starting, how do we do this? I don't know. Is there? You buy a trailer. It's empty. Correct. Correct. <laughs> if I buy a truck with the fuel tank on It's the empty. Yeah, they're all empty. We basically have to find a trailer that has fuel in it. Well, you also kind of have to show up with full fuel tanks. Because, actually, I don't think there's any uh, fuel trailers there. Would have been good to know that. <laughs> Not your fault, but that would have been good to know. So, yeah, Mer no, I know. Factory grounds. All right. So, what do we got here? There's a sideboard there. Yeah, I'm looking at the sideboard right now, straight ahead of me. Uh, that's a prototype exploration, sideboard, cargo. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make a beeline for the, the the tower to at least see what's around there, and maybe we'll see something. Because I have 200 liters, so I'm going. Stay put, Javius. Sorry. And no problem. I mean, it's probably considered a cheat if I were to bring your own truck full of fuel. Yes. <laughs> transfer one of my trucks. Yes, to that's cheating. A full tank and let us sip off of that until we get something. Yeah. Oh God! And of course, okay, the bridge so to the tower is out. If you do Don's right hand. Okay. And I think that might involve that trailer that's in front of you, or in front of the garage. Okay. If it has something in it, but I don't remember. It doesn't look like it has anything in it. It looks empty. Okay. Whatever the requirements are for Don's right hand, you do that, and it'll unlock the trailer store at the port. But we still have no fuel at that point. Okay. So, uh, the other thing you can do is do Whirl Bridge. Whirl Bridge? Rural Bridge. Rural Bridge. Okay. You gotta find the tool trailer. I don't know where it's at. Okay. But they've purposefully tried to kill us. I mean, it, if we can. and I get to cross the river, the very first thing that you warned me about, we get to cross the river. Looks like there's a route though. Yeah, if, if you're heading south, you can just cross the river. And there's yeah. actually, like, after you cross, tower immediately. Yeah, that's where I'm headed right now. And that's the only tower, it looks like. No, there's another one. Oh, are there two on this map? Yeah. So it's... Oh. It's almost perfectly west from the one you're at. Yeah. Yep. But it's like... It's west, but across the river. Weird. I don't see it showing up on the map. I only see one. Hmm. I need to go left. So we're going to go around here and then turn left towards the tower. Whoa. <laughs> I ran over a sign. Sorry, Javius. I know this is not the most exciting, but hopefully when I unlock this, we'll find something. But if not, I might be coming right back, and we might be moving on to another region. Yeah. Because I don't... I don't see... I'm not going to try to force our way through these with no fuel, and I don't feel like transferring my trucks back and forth to different regions 
just to get fuel right now. Once we start doing the, the regions and actually proactively uh, trying to finish the maps, then I, I can see putting the effort into it. But until then, I don't, I don't want to waste. Oh, my God. This just goes back around to the road. Ugh. <laughs> Are you serious? Ugh. Let's go this way and see what happens. Famous last words. Almost, almost through. Almost. Come on, like one more turn. There's the road. I can see it. <sighs> okay. 200 liters. Does Maine have any gas on it when you first start? Maine? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. Oh, the lowlands. Uh, actually, no, you have literally nothing. Like, your garage doesn't even work. Are there trucks to find on the main map? Uh, that's where you find the... Uh, I think you find the forwarder. Okay. It's the event. Yeah, so... The abandoned Titan gets you the Forester. And I don't know where the. I don't remember where you get the, the other truck. Oh, is that your puppy, Javius? Yeah, that was. Right when we first got her a few weeks ago. She's totally cute. Oh, yeah. She's double that size already. So you're looking to see what the other truck is, Kyle? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Double that size. Oh, my gosh. Our dogs are so small. Which I like. We took her. My wife took her to get her first grooming. And I swear she looks bigger than when, before she got her hair cut. <laughs> With like, he trimmed off the ends, but the but it gave her the bath, and it's like it's like she got a blowout or something. She looks like a little <laughs> bear almost now. A her hair's straight instead of curly. It's like a twenty-some pound poof ball. Poof ball. that is practically dominating our 60 pound labradoodle Podonskia station Pier what have we got here Podonskaya I am not seeing any fuel trailers. I see a broken truck in the in the marsh. What is this? We can find out. Where are you at? Uh, I am in the Don, and just below me is a box trailer and a big truck. Oh, oh that sounds like you're really close to the Tetra Force. Oh truck? no, you're in the marsh. No, it looks like a quarry. Okay, yeah, so that's the Tetra Force. Well, we can unlock that. Um, uh, no, you can't. It's it's hidden behind, like, three missions. Oh. But if I see it, will I be at least unlock it? Or no, you got to do the missions, don't you? No, you got to do the missions. Because you got to recover it. Oh, my gosh. I think you're going to... We have to use the trailer to discover this map. This is insane. Okay. I'm just coming back, Javius. I think at this point, if Maine is the same way where there's no fuel to start, we're going to have to work our way there by working through the other maps. So I think maybe it's time to reel ourselves in 
and begin actually doing the game. So it's been like 30 episodes of us scouting. I think the scouting. Yeah. Ends. And the game. You guys need to well. unlock more trucks and more fuel and. Well, we've got almost all the trucks unlocked. That was the whole idea going ahead. Um, no. So that, and that, so that we'd have the trucks and all the parts so that we wouldn't have to buy them. Or as much as we could. So, like, we have the GMC, but we have it fully outfitted, and the parts are free. Because I've, you know, gotten them all throughout the different maps. Or most of the maps. Most of the parts are free. But some things will remain hidden, but the trucks will be capable of doing what they need to do. Um, so that was the idea. That's why we did the full scout ahead. But if on these maps where it's going to be impossible to scout. There's just no point. They've made it so difficult that, you know, it's like I, I don't... We're going to end up spending more money transferring back and forth to get fuel and stuff than if we come to the region prepared where we bring, like, a full fuel truck and we bring, you know... But we're going to have to have thousands of dollars to do all that, so... So... So to unlock the gas station, you need to bring three fuel and two service spare parts. And I have found service spare parts somewhere. Are you talking about in the dawn? Yeah. Well, first you have to fix the bridge to cross the river because going the long way around to the gas station will result in so much gas burned that it's not worth it. Right. So you have to you have to fix the bridge first. Right. With a tool trailer. Then you go do the old gas station. I don't know where the fuel is. Right, which gets us into instead of us unlocking the map, we're doing missions instead. And yeah. because our fuel situation currently is so desperate, we need to Reel it in, and... Oh, what's oh. that mean for us? Huh? Are we headed back to uh, Black River? Yep, time to head... Oh, man! Yeah. I'm stuck on a pile of junk. Are you driving through the quarry? I was trying to drive through these houses. I'm in the city, the village now. I'm trying to get back oh. to the freaking river crossing. Ugh. Oh well, should have learned the first time. I've now Austin powered myself into a corner and broken the crap out of my truck. What happened to the top and gear so part? <laughs> I'm concentrating, all right? I'm trying to get through these trees. This okay. is uh, a little narrow here. Well, I'll continue the waiting game. And uh, you know what? I'm going to put myself in the garage instead of in the... Right in the truck. <laughs> I can't get out of the village. Uh, I have 37% fuel. Do you want me to try and come in? No, I'll... I'll it's more a matter of being lost than a matter of being out. I've got 152 liters left. I, I'll get back. It just... I gotta wheedle my way through the woods here, and I'm not... That's not fun ever. Ever. I'm trying to get through this mess. Made it. Okay, back on the road. Okay. I'm in the garage. I I'll be there momentarily. I need to step away, so take okay. us where we need to go. See you in a few moments. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong thing somehow. I need to go to the right. Ah, I see. Okay, there it is. I'm thinking on this map, we kind of need a boat more than a truck, huh? Yeah, it seems like that. It would be nice if this actually was amphibious, wouldn't it? Yep. 
if it did what it was supposed to do. Calls it's a pretty neat little truck. So that let us know where. <laughs> so anyway, this is good though, folks, is now we're getting ready to start the actual game. Now we've done some of the missions already in uh, Michigan. I, actually, I think most of the first map is actually, the little side missions are done. So now we're gonna move to actually doing the big missions. Tatterin's going to get put away. It's going to stay in the garage for a while. Because we don't need it. We're going to put this... Um, retain that. Truck storage. Okay, good. The F750. I'm going to drive around the front. I'm going to put this away. This truck will be making it to Michigan. I don't know that I have any other scouts in Michigan. But we're definitely going to have that. So let's go ahead and move over. Using the global map, we're going to go all the way back to Michigan. And we'll go to Black River and see what we got. All right, I'm back. He's back. <laughs> Caffeine supply has been replenished. <laughs> Let's see. We still have to do motel woes. We still have to do town storage, riverside repair. There's a oh, stuck trailer. Back? Stuck trailer. I'm looking at the. Yeah. <laughs> I've done these missions so many times, man. I just. <laughs> It'd be easy then. Why It'll am be I still... easy. As... I haven't moved yet. We're, I'm just moving now. Okay. We're, we're moving in 11 seconds. Five seconds. My wife is also on the Michigan map on her game. She's playing. On. Are you on the second map, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and truck storage. Let's see what's here already. We have the Pacific P-16. We got a bunch of trucks. So we got three trucks. I've got this, the P-16, the 2070A, the Fleet Star, and the GMC 9500. How are these set? I'm going to take the GMC. You're taking the GMC? Yeah, and I'm going to put it in the... I'm going to see what upgrades we have for it. Oh. Um, let's move to the garage. Customize. Anything free? We got a free high range gearbox. I don't want that. I'm just going to keep the regular gearbox. Oh God, who's texting you? I don't know who's texting me. Not me this time. Really Matt's texting images of his pets. Because <laughs> we're having a pet a pet night. <laughs> so we got the race suspension on it already. Uh, Yeah, meow. Should have the all-wheel drive, right? I think so. <clears throat> I got a stock winch. I'm not going to upgrade that. Engageable. Yep. Okay, cool. Off-road off tires. Yep, all-wheel all drives on there. Off-road. Well, yeah, the off-road tires. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, yeah, off-road. And the trailer bed. Okay. Um, and should I put a crane on there? Probably. We both probably should have cranes. Cost money, but in the long run, See, hopefully. I would think you'd put put a crane on the Fleet Star, because the can't the Fleet Star take a trailer, the crane, the flatbed, and the trailer? Yeah, I think they both can. Oh, can they? Yeah. I didn't know that GMC could. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to put it on both. But we may... I may regret that. Okay, so I've got this out now. 
So if you want to see how the Fleet Star is set. It's already got a crane. It needs, it's only got all-terrain tires, not off-road. Um, got diff lock and all-wheel drive. No extra lights. That's kind of bad. So it looks like it needs tires. I think it looks, yeah, it looks raised as well. Okay, well, do you want to hop in, hop, uh, hop into the P12, and I'll fix that up. And then you can take whichever one you want. If you want to take the GMC, go ahead. If you want to take that, that's fine. Um, okay. Let me know when you're in the P12. I, I'm in the 16. Oh, or the P16, I mean. Make yeah, sure you... No, Make sure what? Uh, turn the truck off. Oh, you got it off. Okay. Yeah, it's not on. Um, and so we got, it's let's see. To play with the GMC, I think. We're going to customize this. Just see what we got. We got a bigger engine for it. Do we want to put the bigger engine in or no? I would say go ahead because, you know, you're down as fuel, but you need the power. The power is helpful. The power. So, and fuel is really not an issue on these early maps. Tires, we're going to go. We have all terrain. We're going to switch up to the UOD 2s, right? And that's good. Just stock. We have the, st the stock um, winch. Engageable, engageable snorkels on. And the frame's all set up. Geez, somebody beat the crap out of this truck. No, it was not me. That's the way it comes. That's the when you when you find it, it's beat. Uh, yeah, but I paid to fix it up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it's what we get when we're using them. So this one has a small hole in the gas tank. Um, No, don't, you're not, no, oh my god, <laughs> just fueled up the, okay, there we go, yes. All right, so I'm going to work on Riverside Repair, do you want to do uh, motel, mo motel Woes? Okay. Um, I'm wondering, shoot. We don't have a truck with a low hitch, do we? I want to unlock these uh, items. <laughs> yeah, because it needs, I can get these service spare parts. There's only one on here, though, I guess. I don't know what to do with that. Is that the one from over in town? Yeah. Or is that the one from? No, it's from in town. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one has concrete slabs that... Uh, I don't have Motel Woes on here. You might have to go to it and click it. It's at okay. the motel if you go to the motel downtown. That's empty, right? Yeah. So you haven't done any of these missions yet, or have you done some of them? Most of them are done. Just that we have, ho okay. we have the Motel Woes, Stuck Trailer, and Riverside Repair in town. All right, I'll go do motel woes. Where am I going to get service spare parts from? Do they have that in town? No, the warehouse. Ugh. <laughs> I like the sound that? of that. Not at all. Huh? I'll do that. No, I got it. Oh, there's a service spare parts in town. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I'm going to. there's one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. Oh, that, never mind. I'll take Motel Wolves. I just have to drag a trailer. I don't have to yeah. crane anything. We're going to customize this, and I'm going to switch this to a low low saddle because we already have it. Keep the sideboard bed. And 
I gotta watch. I have to really when I'm in the garage, I gotta really watch my keystrokes. I'm gonna repair this. I can't handle it. <laughs> um, I'll probably pay for that later because you know you get used to playing the non-difficult version of the game, and you uh, you tend to not pay attention to what you're key pressing. Right. And then I. No I had to, like, to get all the money back. Yeah, I ended up whipping through stuff and then being like, oh, shoot! Like, sometimes I'll recover by mistake instead when I go to the garage. Instead of pressing X to recover, I'll just recover, and then that costs, you know, 5000 bucks. It's like, oh, oops. Done that a couple times. So here, after like a year, we're finally getting these missions done. It's been almost a year, hasn't it? Of hardcore I'm, mode. I'm, I'm Maybe longer. I'm lately, so I'm not sure. I think it's been over a year now that I think about it. That's horrible. Okay, so we're going to take these parts off. Activate anchor. Activate crane. Cheaped out on this guy. Which one? No good transmission in it. No, that's why I said I didn't put the snow runner in. On purpose. It's too expensive. What? What are you doing? There we go. Why? Can I not connect? Okay, what's going on here? Activate crane. Yeah, there we go. It's being weird. What is this? What am I carrying right now? These are not service spare parts. I don't know what they are. They're just bo random boxes. they got to be something. They are... That trailer originally had one brick... Three service spare parts and one vehicle spare parts. Oh, so these are service spare. Oh. Uh, oh well, I just I only need two of them, so I'll just leave those two on. That's fine. This is vehicle spare parts, right? There's that. So I should have just left that other service spare parts on. I didn't realize. I thought that these were the service spare parts, but. We'll bring them over to the next map. I'm sure we'll need them somewhere. This, we're going to lift up. And move to the front. How good are you at the crane? <laughs> no, I usually make Mike could do it. That good, huh? That's what my wife does, too. She's like, do the crane. It's... Right. I'm not, it's, I get frustrated, so I don't use it very much, so I'm not very good with it, so. It doesn't bother me anymore. I've gotten to the point where I'm okay at it. <coughs> Pardon me. I just did something I've never done before. What was that? Did you flip over? No. You know I flipped over before. <laughs> What'd I you do? I took the uh, detour around the washed out bridge instead of going through the barricades. and. Oh, yeah. I did it the other day. That's funny. That was the first time I'd done it. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go around. <laughs> That's like, funny. Mm, I don't want to take any damage. Sometimes those stupid barricades. If you go slow enough, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Like sometimes you bash through them, and it's like. Push. This truck needs better headlights. These are horrible. And you can't put the roof ones on that one. I don't think. That's nope. Better. It only it only has. You can add a couple to the front. Yeah, on a bumper, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm on my way into town.
Taking it nice and easy. Well, it's certainly nice to be back in Michigan where there's actually roads. As bad as they are, at least there's something. I think we still have to do the big mission on this uh, map, too, the Pipe Dream mission and all that stuff. So we may still have more missions to do. P16 here. What'd you say? Is that why you got the P16 mm -hmm. here? Yep. Man, I wonder what happened to Micah tonight. Didn't he say he was getting his hair cut or something? He was getting a haircut is what he said. Hmm. I, of course, told him to get them all cut. It's more economical that way. It is. Badoom. That was a really bad dad joke. I'm a really bad dad. <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm scared to fill the oil, the, the gas tank back up again. But I'm thinking we're probably going to have to at some point. Once we have more money, I'm not saying that that fixes everything, but I think as we get to the further maps that are harder, we'll have less issues because we can afford to fix the trucks and also bring some fuel with us. But we're going to actually have to make a fuel truck with a tank on it because you can't bring trailers. So we're going to have to actually make a fuel carrier. Yep. Yep. And that's going to have to go with us to some of these regions. And we may have to warp back and forth with fuel from, like, Michigan. And I think Michigan is where you want to go if you have to warp to get fuel. From what I understand, Michigan is where you want to go because Michigan has the, uh, the cheapest fuel prices. Like, the different maps have different fuel prices, and, the, and Michigan's the cheapest. Well, somebody should do the math. Like, I remember ages ago when my mother would drive 10, 15 miles away to get gas for 10 cents a gallon cheaper right. than close to home. Right. Well, no matter what you do, warping costs the same. So that's what, all I'm saying is it's the... Why can I not steer? Uh, it's the fleet star. Oh, it's hey, it's hooking on the trailer. Ugh. Stupid thing. I forgot about that. When you go over like a, a negative uh, incline, it the truck hooks up on the bottom of the trailer and you can't steer because it knocks the wheels off the front. Are you using the the saddle low with the semi still? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got the blue the blue semi trailer. So we definitely next time. We'll use the that the GMC doesn't do that. <laughs> or we may just have to if I don't know if we've rescued the Trans Star or not. I don't remember, but we might have to just set that up like that, like set the Trans Star up for that kind of. Yep. Whoa! All right, I screwed up. What did you do? I did not... The motel woes, I did not paint the correct trailer. Uh, I just went and got the stuck trailer trailer. Oh, okay. Well, where does the stuck trailer goes nearby, too, doesn't it? it goes on, it's on the way back to town, yeah. Yeah, so just take it there instead. Park. That's oh, fine. Gosh. There's the problem right there. So this truck does not make a good road truck or semi hauler. 
front end is too floaty. Well, it's it's not that. What happens is because the frame is so long, it hits underneath the, the trailer. So that, like, if you go over a hill, when you get to the top of the hill, you know, the, the, the cab starts going down, right? Yep. Well, because the frame is so long on the truck, the back of the frame goes up under the trailer and catches on, like, where the, the landing gear are on the trailer. So the truck cannot go any further down, but it's hanging off the trailer. So it's like, it would be like if you had a toy truck and you picked it up by the trailer, how the truck would hang. Yeah. That That's what it's doing. So then you can no longer steer because your front wheels are off the ground. Yeah, you always if, if you're going to be pulling trailers, you need trucks that are dedicated to pulling trailers. Yeah, or like the, GM, the GMC pushes that further back so that doesn't happen. So, like, a lot of the trucks have that hitch. They have the um, the fifth wheel further back, but this specific truck is terrible. A truck I've never had issue with is the uh, the old Dairy Longhorn. The old. The one with the uh, the one with the drop axle. Yes. No, that, that one, one will not have a problem. Most of them don't have. Problem. Most of them don't do that. But this. Well, no, that's specific, what I'm saying. Is this specific that, truck does? That that dairy longhorn is perfect for trailer pulling because of the way it's arranged. That right. the saddle is higher up the chassis, like it's vertically like way... further away from the chassis. Yeah, it's like in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's it's close to the back, centered over the axles, but it's also taller. So when you hook trailers to it, as you go over hills and stuff, you never have that problem of the back of your chassis. Bottoming out. The trailer. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I just love that truck, and it confuses everybody because they're like, oh, that truck is trash. Because no, of that not. axle, it doesn't do anything. And I'm like, it's because you're not using it right. You leave it up in the mud, you put it down on pavement. Right. Because when you're, when you're on pavement, it pushes the truck up about a foot and a half. And you right. can go faster because, like, you still might take up, you know, a couple points of damage here and there. Like, you'll get, like, one as you go over a rock or something. Right. As opposed to when the truck is in the low position and you're going fast and that rock goes under your truck and just removes the suspension from your truck. Right. <laughs> right. Or you can just put the axle down and go 60 and you'll get, like, one damage hitting a pebble. Right. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. The pebble damage. Yeah, I, f I fly with that truck when I'm on pavement. Especially with, like it really blows people's minds when when I'm when I join a pub game and they're in Alaska, and I'll yeah. haul stuff from like. In Alaska is the perfect map for that truck. I mean, that is like, yeah, it's it, it's perfect for that truck. Yeah, I'll pu I'll put chains all around on that truck, and I'll haul stuff from Northport to White Valley at full speed on the pavement. Right, it's like just nonstop, just. And they're like, yeah. "How are you?" You know, and like, you know, I might join them on the Discord or something, and they're like, "How are you? Like, how is your truck not completely totaled?" And I was like, "I put the axle down." <laughs> you drop the axle, lifts the truck up, and you can go as fast as you want on pavement. That's pretty cool, actually. Is that true for the Western Star Forty Nine X though? Uh, I mean, it seems to be the case across all the trucks with drop axles that if you put the axle down, it lifts it up. Okay. All right, my dogs are freaking out, so they really want dinner. Go make them din-dins. Be right back. All right, we'll be here. For at least another 20 minutes. Well, there you go. So was that the, which one was that? That was the um, stuff trailer. Okay. Oh, come on. You can do this. I'm trying to run this, you know, no diff lock, no all wheel drive as much as possible. Figure out where that 
The Motel Woes trailer, I think, is in the swamp. Or was that stuck trailer? No, that was stuck trailer. Stuck trailer. I went all the way up around and then down the steep hill to grab it. I mean, if you activate Motel Woes, it should show you where the trailer is or wherever the stuff is that has to that you need it. It's got a circle, which is right where I went to pick up the stuck trailer. Oh, it's, isn't it around behind on that dirt road back there? I could have done them both. <laughs> it is. Hey, man, you live and learn. Um. Is there any fuel in town? Yeah, there's the gas station on the main the road. Gas station. Are you low? Am I up? I'm getting close to half, and uh, I know that's a bit of a muddy run up there once you get off the asphalt road, and I'd prefer be happier with more fuel. When we get back to the garage, we need to switch up. I'm going to put that... Like with the flap, the where I'm gonna switch those trucks around. This that's gonna become the semi truck, and this will be the flatbed because this truck is very unhappy doing what it's doing. If that's cool with you, that's fine as long as you're okay with me buying fuel for this. Oh, yeah, go ahead. How much money do you have? Enough, all right. It's not a not not a problem. I did my hardcore save is purely to both for to play this with you and and doing with Micah card. too. Yeah, so you're making bank. I'm just here to to support you guys. So I've gone and ground and ground out some trucks and money and stuff on on the save singularly by myself. But right. <clears throat> <laughs> These trucks are great. I can't wait to try the GMC in that configuration. I've never used it when it's fully upgraded. Hey, guess what? It seems like it'd be pretty good. What? You can't fill it up? I can. Oh, you can? I cannot. Oh, uh, all right. So uh, jump into the garage for a sec, and I'll order the P16, and I'll hop over. That, that kind of stinks. I'll do 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 do. I'm just gonna go get the. <laughs> Jump out. No, I'm just gonna go get the trailer. Oh, you don't want me to fill you up? I can fill it up. Okay. Let me fill it up first. All right. Uh... <laughs> I'm in the in the P16. No, that's okay. There's the sunshine. This is a beefy truck. This will get us all the way through Michigan. Actually, I think this truck will do well. Probably, we'll we'll move this over to Russia. The Fleet Star, I'm not so sold on. The Twin Steer is going to go to 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 Alaska with us. Star. All right, you're refueled and ready. Thank you. My friend, you are welcome. I much prefer the White Western Star. To the Fleet Star? To the Fleet Star. Yeah. But I think out of all of them, the GMC is the best because of the height. It's so tall. It kind of gets, gets above stuff. It's only until recently that I restarted playing this with you guys that I actually went and got all the parts and put them all on, and it's like, yeah, yeah, that's... Makes a pretty big difference. <laughs> and it's got the, the cool, tall, double, dual, flappy... Uh, whatever they call this exhaust. Oh, the exhaust on the, uh, on the GMC. 
<laughs> That's what makes it great is the flappy exhaust. <laughs> the dual. It's tall. dual fla dual flap dual tall flappy exhaust. <laughs> it's the best. Micah doesn't like him. Oh, doesn't he? Because it looks good, but when you when you flip the truck. Oh, it, it makes it impossible to flip back over. Hard as heck to get it. Yep. No, I, I see that for sure. Oh boy. Oh, uh, don't dump. Michigan mud. Uh, it does crack me up. This looks nothing like Michigan. It really doesn't look anything like Michigan. Yeah. Uh, Early on. And Wisconsin doesn't look anything like Wisconsin. This looks like Montana or Wyoming. And so does no. the other. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I got There we go. Sorry. Sorry, man. Just saying goodnight to the wife. Oh, you're fine. I had you muted. Don't bash the truck. Yeah, so drive slow and careful. I've paid lots of money to get these trucks fixed up, like 5000 bucks a truck. So let's keep them nice. <laughs> as nice as possible. Drive slow. I know you and Mike are careful. I haven't bashed these at all. Good. I know accidents happen. The uh, F-750, on the other hand, one hit took out 90% of the suspension. Oh, is it broken? Do I need to fix it up? No, oh, I fixed it. Okay. I was early enough on that I was able to use the repair points Aha. and fix it. I got to head back to the field. So I think that is it. Doing the, did you guys do the logging missions? No, we're going to do those. Um, that's, and we are going to do them now because we need the money. Uh, but that's it, I think. Once you have Motel Woes, then I think that's it for the city, like the regular missions on this one. I'm going to leave this trailer over here on this side of the map. No. <sighs> what happened? Upside down. Did you uh, flip? On my side. Yep. Oh, exact shoot. same thing. I need to unbind that. That my stick. Pressing my stick. I'm really close to where you are. So let me um, head your way. I'm going to. I may run out of fuel and I might need to tow back to the shop once we're done. Okay. But, or at least to tow back to the gas station. We'll have to see. I, I might have enough. I've got 82 li uh, liters left. I can definitely get to you. I just don't know if I can get back. Oh, the stupid trailer will not. Well, if we can get me back on my wheels, I can grab the trailer, and then you can winch to the back of the trailer as I take it back to town. Okay. And I may not even need that. Like, I'll drive as far as I can. That way I'm not. you're not having to pull me, too, but... Trying to avoid the gooey mud right here. Yeah. And I forgot I was in a 1960s truck with rock steel springs. Bars, yeah. Steel bars for springs. Right. say these these trucks are reasonably well detailed on the undersides yeah the whole thing is really good they they i love the interiors like the interiors of the trucks are great i wish american truck simulator looked this real inside 
Like, these look like the real trucks, and I love the grime and stuff that's built up. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where did I miss? No, okay, I'm coming up through this section of a horrible road. The rocky part? Yeah, I won't be going fast. I take my time. Especially this truck. This truck is like spring loaded. Boing! Bazoing. <laughs> I see you. Um. I wonder. Can you? Can you yeah, come in like that way. Is there enough space between the trees to get close enough to? I can try. Toss the winch at me. Make sure you shut your truck off. It's on it's, its side. It's weird. I'm hearing it. It's making it sound like it's on. I know it's not, but. Alright, I. What'd you say, Babs? No, it's there's it's making his engine sound down here. It's weird. Okay. Let's see if I, I can reach. To hopefully make it easier. She is. I can't reach. Be quiet. Be quiet. Got it. All right, let's try. All right. I'd say back up, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe hook to a tree if you can. Like for leverage. And never again. <laughs> Just go through the mud, my friend. You can do it. <laughs> that truck is capable. Or is that your puppy? That was me mewling at them, yes. That was to Hermione. Barbella. What, she wants you to feed her? No, she's been fed. She's just whiny. Take your time, little trucky. Don't you rush through the mud. I made it. All right, I'm going to head to the gas station. Okay. And I'm going to get this truck set up for flatbed work. Uh, and then that truck we're going to switch over to be our our hauling truck, our towing truck. So are we going to gear up for logging? No, let's do the other there? missions first. We have the factory missions and stuff that have to be done. And then we'll do the logging missions. I need to get some more capital together for those because we have to buy all the parts for it. So we're going to need the logging cranes and the logging bolsters and all that stuff, and it's going to cost a ton of money. And you can't haul medium logs in a long log old trailer. Right, so we're going to have to get specific. Though you can pick which logs you want, right? Yes. So th that should be fine. Yeah, so there's only one logging station on this map, so you, you get them all from there. But you okay. Have to 
the right ones for whatever right frame or trailer setup that you got. Made it back to the road on my wheels. Yep, I think I'm going to make it to the gas station. I got 50 liters and I'm already in town. Okay. 49 liters. We have to take the big giant fuel trailer up there with the B-16. Yeah. And then the oil, Oh, the right, big right. Trailer comes down. Yeah, the big one comes down, yeah. Yep. Something else that goes up to the factory, I thought. Um, yeah, we just did that. I forget what it was. Like metal beams, I think, go up to the factory. The gas goes up, the factory, the, the, um, the factory goes up. The gas goes up, the, um, other shiz goes up, the, uh, metal beams, and then the big honky trailer comes down. I usually take it through the sawmill route. Man. what I miss? Oh, we're just running out of money. <laughs> I'm down to 70,000 bucks. I had 105 when we started recording tonight. But we're starting to make money back now. So the trucks are all set up the way they should be. We shouldn't have to make too many changes for the next set of missions. But then we'll, we'll have to buy stuff for the logging missions. But those pay really well, too. The logging missions, I think, are like 50, 60,000 bucks. And then we'll have the stuff already. So, like, we won't have to buy it again. We'll have a crane and like the bolsters and stuff to put on our trucks. I'm pretty sure the logging missions on this map do not pay for what you they don't cover the cost of the stuff of the cost of the stuff. The Great. Perfect. That's a multi map return on investment. Yeah, but we will. We'll get it back. Cause all these maps get it, don't they? Or does each map have separate logging missions, or are they all one set? Well, like, regions have logging missions. So it's a region. It's not just, it's not permanent. There, there's ones that are just happen here in Black River, and then there's... Ones that happen over the whole region, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll be like, deliver from this one location, deliver long logs... Over to there. ...to the entire region. Yep. <laughs> Bella, lay down. Be -dee -dee -dee. Shut your freaking fussy mouth. I think it might be Hermione, actually, that's whining. So you have... The... I, I can't Sorry. stand the on the mod, mod hub for farm sim. People just keep reinventing the wheel. Right. I'm so sick of seeing tractors that are in the game and all they add is like, oh, now you can paint it whatever color you want. And I was like, that was never an issue. That was never. <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's right. Make something new. Yeah, I was like, stop reinventing the wheel. Stop adding crap that's already in the game. What I would like to and see is somebody take that new, the Vermeer baler, take the chassis and turn it into a wind rower or a, a speed rower. Nice. So there is a trailer in town here. It's yes. The, it's the red Dolly trailer. Yeah, just leave it. For accuracy. Okay. Okay. So I can bring it to back. here. Nah, just leave it for now. We'll oh. grab him if we need him. I know uh, Micah prefers that trailer. I can't stand it. I know it's too. He it's too heavy. It's the it's uh, extra double wheels that it kills you. Let's see what other self-propelled balers they make, not oh, just the one. I think that might be the only one. Uh, the only, Vermeer's the only one I've ever seen in real life, but that doesn't mean it's the only one ever. But I've never seen any other companies with self-propelled balers. Oh, I'm looking at this wrong. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just the one self-propelled unit. Right. Now, Javius, are you coming uh, back to the garage? I am. All right. So, ver so Vermeer seems to be entirely on uh, round bales. Seems to be their whole thing. Yes, they don't. I haven't seen any square balers from them. That is correct. Uh, what is this thing? I forgot. Okay, yeah, so that's a rotary. I'm going to hop in here. Is oh, it they just does... call that a twin. I just call that a twin rake. Did one of the dogs fart, or is that like, oh, is that a skunk? Okay, I was gonna say this smells like skunk. No, that was me. That was Chavius. Keep your butthole closed. That sounded really gross. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we're gonna. All right, Arthur. My, my wife said that is not how you should talk to your friends. <laughs> Here's a question. Should I siphon? How much fuel do you need in a trailer in order to turn it in? Um, Any of it. As long as you have like 10%, you're good? I don't even know oh, I'm, there's a percentage. I've turned in trailers with very low amount of fuel and still gotten oh, credit. Is, because my thought is to take the Fleet Star over here with this fuel trailer, and I'm going to fill this up. I'm a bad boy. Um, ooh, this is really tight. It's going to hit that ladder. I'm going to fill the, our fuel tanker up with fuel from the big monster tanker that's going to go up to, you know, the thing with the yep. thing. Yeah. I'm going to put fuel in that. Because I can. And then I'm going to... Uh, I don't think I need to take it up there because we'll have the, the we can refill again, but I just want to have extra fuel just because I want it. Oh, and then I can take, we can take it over by the lumber area when we're doing lumber. Well, there's a service trailer over there. At the lumber area? No, not at the lumber area where you build the oil well. Oh, I'm not talking about that. Yeah, we'll use that too. No, I'm saying if we need to have this for fuel, then we'll have it available. I'm just going to... For now, I'm just going to park it at the gas station because um, we're not even we're not set up yet for the logging. But I'm I'm going to leave it there at the gas station for now. But we're going to pull the fuel out of the big tanker and put it into this. Yeah, the mod hub is just clogged with <laughs> for three. It's, it's the three, same tractors over and over. Three, like you like you said when it first and came out. And the three out, meter cultivators. Three meter cultivators, right? That's like the whole and. And completely meaningless trailers. Yeah. I mean, there's some cool stuff out there, too, but it's... you got to really fish through to find the good stuff. It's I mean, it's, it's already up to 110 pages. Right. And most of it is trash. Yep. That said, though, there are some really cool things in there. I mean, I'm going to... Yeah, there, there's you, a... You know me. Have, I'm really picky on mods. You know how I am. But there actually is a lot of good stuff out there. But yeah, I've 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 picked a few of the mods myself. But there's a lot of them. They're just completely meaningless trash. Yeah. Or, or they're just, just they just keep reinventing the freaking wheel. Yep. On crap that's already in the game and that was perfectly okay to begin with. And all they're like, well, now you can paint it purple. I'm right. like, I don't care. Yep. Not a not exactly. was not a concern. <laughs> Not what I care about. And just the obscene amount of cultivators. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I get it's an easy mod to make because all you have to do is just effect happens when thing is put on ground. Right. But when thing, when thingy is put on ground, effect happens. Yeah, that's a super simple thing to happen, but because like there's no fill planes, you know, there's none of that stuff going on. All you have to do is just, you know, object on ground equals field cultivated. Right. All right, we're going to park this here. All right, so I've got the Fleet Star parked. Probably in the next episode, Javius, I'm going to have you 
operate it. Um, Let me know when you're back to the garage. Well. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, you're in the P16. Currently, I'm in the P16 because the next thing that this needs to do is. Get the big fuel trailer? Fuel trailer up. Okay. Does it have the high hitch on it? That's the only thing you can take back here. It's on there. I I remember to put it on because, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I Not see recovered. It. Customize. Oh, I was going to say the GMC is sitting at the garage waiting to be reconfigured. Yep, I'm going to take the this off. And First, I'll... you took the fuel away, so it's not refueled. Oh, what gas? No, you didn't bring it to this gas station. Okay. Huh? What? I thought you brought the little fuel tanker to this gas station. Oh. No. But I'll bring the GMC over there, and then we'll call it a night. So stay there at that gas station, and we're going to... We'll end the episode there, because that's that's where we'll reconnoiter. How many repair points does this repair trailer have in it? I do not know. Should Which I bring one it? Is it? It's the green one, but it's it's been used. Well, then, what you can do to find out how many it's got left is try to repair your truck. Don't yeah, do. actually repair it, and it'll just tell you what's in it. Oh, it's got it has seven thirty three, and one tire. <laughs> so it's got some stuff in it. I'll bring it. Well, once again, when we go to do the wood or the lumber, we'll park it down there in case we have a a little mishap. Um, we can do some repairing. So I'll meet you at the gas station. I'm on my way, Javis. This is the weirdest looking fuel semi tanker fuel trailer I've ever seen. What's that? The we the big weird fuel tank? Yeah. It's like parts of three different tankers grafted together is what it looks like. Okay. It looks Which like one? The, the heavy duty one or Yeah, the one in the the final yeah, the heavy duty. Yeah. Wait, the big giant green one? Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. Russian. Yeah, it's it's Russian, but from the sixties like, or fifties. Well, the army also has a fuel a fuel trailer that looks kind of like that, except we put standard semi tires under it. Right. It doesn't have the weird like dual carriage. I don't think it's as wide as that one either. Well, it's a, it's a standard width semi trailer, yeah. but it's got all the apparatus across the back of it for pumping. Right. And wh what you would do is you would hook it to the back of our army trucks because they have hydraulic connections on them. And it would use hydraulic pumping to run oh, the fuel pump. That's smart. They did try with a generator. But the problem was, is any generator sufficient enough to do any decent pumping from that kind of thing is kind of like too big and too hot to put near a giant canister of fuel. Right. And so they were like, okay, well, we're not going to do that. And so they just went with the uh, uh, hydraulic setup. The hydraulics. Oh, what happened here? Let's try that one again there, Sunshine. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I, I told my worker to take off, and they went like halfway down the field before putting the tool down. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, not that kind of takeoff. So I'm, Jay I'm, I'm doing this farm... And I'm harvesting wheat like crazy. And last night it dawned on me that all of my income for buying all of my equipment has come from lettuce and honey. <laughs> right. Like, well, you got a lot I, of greenhouses, huh? No, I only have one. 
Javius, can you refill my truck, please? I have one large greenhouse and the largest uh, honey thing. Okay. Or like the largest beehive. And mm. that's my income. Are we good, Javius? Like, yep, all set. That's awesome. The honey makes a lot of money, doesn't it? Uh, well, I, I, I wait until I have enough honey to fill up the little trailer, the little cargo trailer. Yeah, and you do it all at once. Yeah, and so I just, I wait, like, I figured out exactly how many I need to fill it up, and I just stack them on the ground. Okay. And so when I'm ready, then I can just throw them all in all at once. Okay, and, that makes sense. Yeah, and it comes out to about once a year. I can go make a bulk sale, and I'll check the I'll check the market prices first, just to so know I sell in the price. right month. Yep. Yeah. And oh, wait, no, hang, hang on a second, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode as we prepare now to do the big episode or the the big missions to get the pipe dream built and going. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. You guys want to say good night? Night. And everybody, I will see you next time, guys. Bye.